Hi everybody, I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Thanks for stopping in and checking out my channel. So I'm still in the RV. If you've been following me, you know I'm moving and we're living in our RV for now. So I'm trying to get real inventive about what I'm doing. I'd like to leave here with a bunch of ephemera. That's my goal, but I don't know. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I did, I, I got inspired. This is as you might recognize the top to a Kleenex box. Um, I'm not sure what this was from. Oh, this is from the cracker box, saltine crackers. But this looked, I don't know. I saw steampunk. This is the other half to the Kleenex box. I want to do see if I can do something with these. We'll see. I don't know. Thing is, I don't know how I'm gonna get this traced. Excuse my reach, guys. Yeah, it's tight quarters. <laughs> um. Let's just see if I can kind of fake it. I actually do have some clear, you know, saran wrap, whatever that I could. I could redo that if I wanted to, but I wanted to see if I could use this as is. That's what I want. If I can, I want to see if I can. Okay, I'm gonna rough cut that and see how close I am. Just for giggles, just for giggles, I'm gonna just Give myself some wiggle room. I did some slow stitching and I don't like it. I don't like, I love the fabric that I started it with and I thought it'd be great and now that I've got it, a big, huge chunk of it all slow stitched, I don't like it. So, well that worked great. Huh, I lucked out. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll show it to you when, I hope I don't forget. I'll show it to you, I'd love to get your feedback. I just, I don't know. I don't like it. Sometimes you have to leave a project alone. I learned that a long time ago. Especially with hand spinning. You know, it takes so much work getting wool from an animal or fiber from an animal. Sheared and, well, grown, first of all. And shorn and picked and combed and all of that that when you start a project and you don't like the way it's turning out you gotta slow down and stop or something yeah I like that that's gonna work fine because it's a pretty expensive project that you're gonna be leaving piled up somewhere you know Anyway, this slow stitch thing wasn't expensive at all, but I have learned that sometimes if you just leave something alone for a minute and then pick it up, give it a couple days or something, then pick it up and you kind of have a new idea about it. Well, that wasn't hard. But 
got some room for some lace. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'm using my iPad to record now. I'm going to see. I moved all my camera and everything around, so I hope it's okay. I hope it doesn't wiggle too much and the light's right and, you know, all that. And if it's not, I'm sorry. I tried. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. It's amazing how fast I gathered uh, scraps already here in the RV. I'm kind of overrun with them. These are from Taylor Made Journals. Love this stuff. It's like wallpaper and old fashioned -y and now I know I'm going to be able to get a damp cloth and wipe the glue off of that plastic, so I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. These, these were interesting to me. I was thinking, oh, what if I could make them into a, like a closure, you know? Let's just see if we can. This is beautiful, isn't it? I love it. I don't, I think the, uh, maybe not. Let's see. No. No. <laughs> Let's see. If I were to cut it off right there, that would work, wouldn't it? Okay. So if I did it like that, oh, the sun just went down again. It rained and rained, and the wind blew and howled and. There's a tree above our trailer, and branches fell, and pilot lights went out last night. It was a fun sleep last night. I love a good storm. Oh, I love a good storm. The louder, the better. These are some big honking scissors. Nineteen days until we get to pack the trailer up and go pull it into our new driveway. Nineteen days. I'm so excited. Okay, so we'll put that here. Set that right there. And let's do this one. You can't go wrong with this paper. I have to pull wallpaper off in the new house already. Ugh. Not looking forward to that. But I am looking forward to a fresh coat of paint. I love fresh paint. Makes everything so clean and nice. I have a color in mind, or had a color in mind for my studio room, but 
I think I'm changing my mind. I'm going to have so much color in that room. I think I might just go with white. And a lot of the room is already white, so... It's hard to remember, though. It, I need to actually see it again to see if it's going to work. TV going. Hold on. I thought I had it turned down, but not enough. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Old fashioned. It's the same this way. It might stick better on the cardboard side. Well, I have an emery board I could go get, but I'm not going to. I'm going to uh, up the ante, give myself a little insurance, and use Fabri-Tac. I got my glue ordered. If you haven't ordered your glue, you need to order it. It doesn't matter where you live. Even if you live in an area that doesn't really have a cold, cold winter, remember that people who ship, like Amazon and all the other resources that we tap into, a lot of them will not ship it because it changes their you know, it changes the product. So a lot of places will not ship glue. And I found out about uh, winter glue issues when I went to all my Joann's and Michael's and everywhere trying to find glue. You know, Fabri-Tac and Art Glitter Glue and stuff. And there was none. Once they had ordered in the fall and that had gone away, that was it. And they weren't going to order anymore until the temperatures were a steady something. I can't remember what. 40 degrees or something like that. Yeah, so it's a thing. That is also one of the reasons why I ended up buying that gallon of Elmer's glue. I did go ahead and order my Uhu roll-on, the Uhu glue sticks. I went ahead and ordered some. I've, if you've watched me for very long, you know I have issues with Uhu, but I really think that it's because A, it's the blue kind that magically turns clear after you put it on. And B, I think it was old. Probably old when I bought it and then I let it sit. So I'm gonna, I ordered white this time. And so I'm gonna see if maybe that has anything to do with it. Look at that. Hmm. I like it. This hairband has absolutely no purpose other than I picked it up and wanted to make sure I saved it. So, <laughs> ah, wrong glue. Uh. I'll bet it would work, but I want to use Fabri-Tac. One of our neighbors in the park here, in the RV park, they had um, 
They were sleeping in a tent last night, and I woke up in the night thinking about them. I'm like, oh, geez. Oh, I bet they're cold at least, even if they're not wet. I don't think Fabertech and Elmer's mix, so I don't know what that corner is going to do now. We'll find out. Uno momento. I feel so much better having my camera turned this way. What I have done is I put a lot of people turn their camera so that it faces the ceiling and that, that the actual camera is shining down on your project, but the, the face of the iPad or the phone or whatever is facing the ceiling. I've tried it several times and I a, I'm insecure not seeing if I'm in range, you know, so you guys can see. And B, I, my phone shut, has shut off so many times that I don't trust it. So what I do is I have this little mirror, which was actually my husband's idea which is brilliant, brilliant. And I just set it over there and tilt it and I can see everything that you're seeing. So I know immediately if my, if I quit filming or if I've got something out of frame or whatever. That's my little video tip. I don't have very many of them, but there you go. It works great for me. It doesn't take up a lot of room and it gives me a lot of security. <laughs> As it, it, oh, it's so frustrating to do a project for, you know, 45 minutes, an hour, a half an hour, whatever. And you stand up to check your project and your phone quit taping a long time ago. And you can't redo that particular project. <laughs> no. This one I was thinking of like that. Or maybe even like a flip of some kind. Or even a pocket. I don't know, there's so many things you could do with it. Really like these. I'll better wait. I'm getting in a hurry and I'll end up getting it all boogered up. Okay, so what would you want to use with that? It's time for me to take the lids off of my glue bottles and wash them. This is 
very scientific. <laughs> Look and guess. Look and guess. I'm loving these scissors. They were, uh, they're Fiskars, and they're called mixed media scissors, and they're titanium non-stick. Yeah, they're great for stuff that's sticky, gluey. This paper's so adorable. Let's see how close I came. Looks lopsided to me already. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ah. Carol, you amaze me. I think my next endeavor in the RV, if I can get my napkins all compiled, is going to be, I want to do a uh, fabric napkin folder or cover. have those beautiful napkins from the UK that Jane sent. Thank you, Jane. Hi, Jane. And um, I want to dig them out, but you know, you, you have to have a few layers. I watched a couple videos and on Gail Augusta Nelly did one and she really layered it up. I think that's probably why I like the what it looks it looks like it's uh, substantial. The cover is its really sturdy. And it, it seemed to me that the reason is because she put so many layers. And I don't I don't want to layer with my really good napkins. And all my other napkins are in storage. So I need to go somewhere and buy some cheap napkins. Sometimes the second hand stores the thrift stores, you know, they'll have bags of leftover picnic supplies that people have donated, stuff like that. But I'm really trying to stay out of the stores. Our COVID numbers are rising and rising and rising here in Idaho. We had two of our hospitals with um, announced the other night that uh, they had no more ICU beds and um, one of the uh, members of our family had a friend who posted her uh, she allowed our family member to post her text and they actually were take, kicking her out of the hospital because not because she was better but because they needed the bed and her insurance won't pay for some of the really strong drugs. It's crazy. So she's going home on oxygen and steroids. I hope it works for her. Now I'm gonna need something on that, won't I? Well, maybe, unless I use this under, you know, like 
that would be the page and then I would just put it down like that as a tuck or a pocket on the, under, uh, on the bottom. I see all kinds of possibility. That wasn't hard. I think it's a cute pocket. Cute. Could even do something like this, couldn't you? I wonder if you could do something like that. And then flip. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to let those sit there and think about themselves for a minute. And the other thing I wanted to do, I did one of these before. I haven't seen them done. I'm sure I didn't think it up. But uh, I, I kind of did one by accident. Um, A while ago, I took that toilet paper roll. Did you see my mini journal? It would be on the video right before this one. It was so fun. <laughs> it was fun. Cute, turned out cute. I might do some more of those little mini journals with the toilet paper rolls and turn them into glue books for kids. Okay, so first we have to cover this. Let's just use this because it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, so. Hmm. That's not enough action. Let's do this one. Where did I put it? Dang it. Yes. And, hmm. No idea. Okay. Right there. Ish. I can also check the time when my camera's like this. My, um, you know, when I have the monitor part looking down at me, I can also check and verify the time, which is nice. If I'm if my contacts aren't cloudy and I'm having a good vision day, I can see it. <laughs>
One thing about these toilet paper rolls when you're working with a man, do they glue very well? That paper is porous and it just takes glue no problem. It's wonderful. It's great to play with. Now I may have got these a little big because I was trying to make sure. Whoops. Yep, I got a little overzealous. That's when these scissors come in really handy. The glue just wipes right off. No, don't cut that, Carol, don't do it. I hope that's not jiggling you guys too much. I don't know why, but this paper reminds me of that song. Oh, who sang it? Um, oh, it's a bird of paradise. An old country western song. He, the guy had a great big huge uh, mustache. And he sang the bird of paradise. Bird of Paradise, fly up your nose. Anyway, if you've never heard it, that won't make any sense to you at all. Extra points to somebody who can remember what his name is. Was it Earl? Jim? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Anyway, that's what this paper reminds me of. <laughs> Bird of Paradise. It's actually a gorgeous flower. I love it. Okay. Now, watch this. This is a paper towel. Can you see? Paper towel roll. It's really hard, too. And I still haven't found my bone folder. It's here somewhere. All I can think of is Earl Gray, and that's not his name. See what I'm after? This is going to go in that. But I have to cut it a little bit. It's a little bit too big. It's probably not even close to straight. Maybe not too bad. In the past, what I have done is sprayed these a little bit and then just slid them under my mat, and it really makes them pliable. Now, I want it to go all the way through. So, I want it to stick out on both sides. Fun! 
ะฮะไปแซ่ could do it like a belly band doesn't have to be that long you know you could cut it off shorter and put um, eyelets and maybe a little something on there so you could pull it all the way through and put it in your book like that so sew your buttons every time I say so my husband says your buttons so your buttons. I think it's a southern thing. He got it from his mama. And she's definitely southern. So I'm filming this on Sunday. I don't know what the date is. It's October something. Let's see, it'd be 10, 11, something like that, because we have 19 days to be here before we move into our house. So it must be like the 10th or 11th, something like that. Anyway, um, it's quiet. It's Sunday. I'm going to try to center that a little bit. Okay. I don't think I'm going to distress it just yet because I, I don't, I don't know um, what I'm going to cut off. I love being here in the park, but not enough to stay, but I am enjoying all the people from everywhere. and thinking, gosh, you know, where are they headed? Where are they coming from? What's their story, you know? Some people might just be pulling over for a good night's sleep because they're headed up to Yellowstone because we're very close to, we're like, a, I don't know, two hours from Yellowstone Park, I think. Or Jackson Hole, Wyoming is just like a couple hours, I think. So, you know, you see people from California, Oregon, um, Utah, Florida, Colorado. And you think, where are they going? At least that's what I think. I think, where are they going? What's their story? I think it's gonna work. I think it's just crooked. There's a little hanging over because it's crooked. That's gonna be adorable. That's just cute right there. thinking the other day uh, you know we try not to we try to recycle and try to be responsible and all of that and I was thinking look at all this stuff we're throwing away and I thought I'm gonna see how much of this stuff I can reuse because truth is I mean the journals that I've been making really aren't junk journals Especially after when you first get started making journals, 
and you get wrapped up in buying all the equipment and all the tools and all the inks. It's the most expensive junk I've ever played with. So I don't know that I can call them junk journals really. They're really handmade books, I guess. So the other day when I was, we were taking out the trash and cleaning up, I thought, gosh, I can reuse a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna see what I can do. While I'm here in the trailer at least, and hopefully I can keep it up when we get moved. I do recycle a lot of stuff, boxes and bags and things, but I'm a little more dedicated these days. Okay. I think this is dry. No, it's not, but it might be close enough. Let's set this over here. And let it dry and let's put a thumb hole on that. On each side. Oh shoot. It's not gonna let me. Yeah, that's good. Our dogs are, they're sad. They're finally getting displaced, that feeling of are we ever going home. They're usually always up for an adventure and they've been great, but my husband's been taking them on this long walk up this trail across the street. It's a fun walk for them, a couple miles. And he's been taking them twice a day and they've been having a ball. But at home, you know, they're used to just being able to go out the door and have a couple acres to just run around and chase rabbits and torment the neighbor's cat and all that kind of jazz. And it rained last night and they didn't get to go for their walk this morning because I said, no way. No way are you going to take them up there in the mud and then bring them back in the trailer, in the carpet, no, 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 please, please don't. So my husband said he wouldn't, and the dogs are just like, what? <laughs> they both just <laughs> wanted to go out so bad, and Doug said, no walk, no walk. They both <laughs> looked at him and looked at each other and came over to me, and I said, no, no big walk today. They went over and laid on their beds and just, <gasps> poor things. You could just hear them both saying, I don't want to go home. I don't like it here. <laughs> and they, I don't think they do now. I think now that the weather's turned, they're going to be in more. I don't think it's going to be fun for them. So they're going to be ready. I watched a bunch of uh, craft room makeovers the other day. Actually, I've been watching them pretty steady. Boy, some people just, oh, their rooms are gorgeous. Glass and tons of windows and oh, what a wonderful space. I've been getting some pretty Pretty good ideas about what I want to do with the new space as opposed to the other space. I think I've kind of got an idea of things I want to keep that I have there, you know. Like I love my window, so, and I know that's fun for me to be next to. And I have two windows in this other place, they're small though. So I'm going to try to put my desk in such a way that I'm, I can at least see outside. And some people stand at their desk. I don't know if I could 
do that. I mean, I know you could get a bar stool, you know, and sit tall. I don't know if that'd be comfortable. Okay. Let's start looking at this now. Hmm. I like it. I'm liking it. So I think what I'd like to do hmm, how am I gonna do this? I wanna cut the edge the corners, you know, like a tag. And I don't have my tag cutter. So let me see if I can fake it. I like that. I believe it. Alright. Do you believe that? Choose it up a little bit. How could you go wrong with this paper, right? I'm trying very hard. It's been tough in the RV because I've brought a bunch of scraps that I didn't label, but I am making a serious effort to try to remember whose paper is whose and put them in filing systems so that I can give credit where credit is definitely due. I mean, ugh, the work that's put into creating these digitals, I want to make sure that they get recognized. I'd like to have something, see if it goes like this. I really don't want there to be a bottom and a top. Huh. Hmm. What I'm thinking is what kind of paper do I want on the back? I think it's time to kind of put some paper on the back. And I really don't want to use my good digis. I happen to have a notebook here that I've been keeping notes in. Let me grab it. That's another project I was thinking about doing. thinking about, uh, can you see through that? Oh, oh, it's two pages, that's why. Let's see if you can see through one. No, oh, I think it's fine. Um, that's another project that ran through my mind. I was thinking, you know, I could go to the dollar store and get some composition notebooks and alter them. It would be really easy and fun and might get some Christmas stuff out of the way. I 
I didn't really have this planned, so it really is trial and error for a minute here, guys. Okay, that's got to go off a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I am going to use my cutter to cut this so I can get it straight so I don't have to cut it on the edge of the tag. And hope I don't go over too much. Sometimes this cutter will, um, it won't cut even really thin paper. It just gathers it all up. It just snags on the first little bit and that's it. I'm not sure what that's all about. Okay, I think I got that right. I hope you guys are having a cozy Sunday like I am. Let's see, what's our time, what's our time, what's our time? I think it says 52 minutes. Might almost get this done in that amount of time. I'm a little heavy handed with this Elmer's glue. Um, if you've been watching me, you know that that's what's in that bottle is Elmer's. Oh guys, I've, I, I have to, hold on to your hat, it's going to wiggle, I've got to get something to wipe my hands off with. I can't go anymore. Hold on. I'm back. I had to get a little wipe. Let's see if it'll fit. Gotta dry my hands off. Voila. I've decided as soon as I get in the house, while I'm unpacking boxes, I'm going to create a couple piles and I'm going to do a big giveaway. Probably with um, um, several winners, you know, like several different bundles. I want to make some scrap bundles to give away. I want to make, uh, I want to give away some ephemera, maybe a journal, I don't know. So make sure you, if you haven't, make sure that you hit the, that little bell, cause it'll tell you when I'm putting up a video. I sure appreciate my new subbies and all of you that have been commenting. That's so sweet of you. And I've noticed most of the people who are commenting, a lot of them anyway, are people who have channels. They understand, you know, what that means. Um, it doesn't mean money. I don't, I don't do this for money. 
but it means that people are watching you and paying attention and like crafting along, you know. That's kind of, that's what it means to me anyway. I uh, have some things on my stuff I want to buy list, <laughs> you know, my wish list, if it, as it were, my wish list, and um, I want to do some product reviews. I love the videos where people unbox it and try to figure out how to put it together, how it works, does it work well right out of the box. I love those videos. To me, those are great product reviews because they haven't, they're just like me. They're opening the box for the first time. Okay. Okay. I do want to put some holes in this. just a little too wet I think doesn't help that I've got wet glass and then I want some lace or something I wonder if I should wait and see what project this is gonna go in maybe I better wait yeah I think I will okay so Oh, my hands are so dry. Oh, my God. I'm used to getting my nails done. I usually have long, at least one inch nails. I thought I would never learn how to do anything without them, but since we all went to lockdown for COVID, I never went and got my nails redone. And I didn't realize how much that really helped Um, your uh, hand, your fingers being dry and stuff. Getting that manicure. Okay. I think I just saw something. Hmm. I want to see something. Just play in for a minute. Just play in for a minute. Oops. I don't think it's going to reach. Darn it. Oh. Oh, it will. It will if I'm careful. Sort of. Let's see. There's just a little bit of yellow right there. Can you see it? That's what I was thinking. This one goes like that. Hmm. Let's just see what it looks like for real. Smudge it up a little bit. I like it. Okay, I gotta hurry. We're gonna run out of time. I don't want it. I don't want to go over an hour. It'll take. Oh, I'm at an hour. Okay, I'm gonna glue these on here and repunch some holes on them, and then I'll see you next time. Probably finish it without you, but you get my drift, and I'll show it to you next time. Okay? Okay, guys. Thanks so much for checking in with me. I hope you comment. I know that I have a lot of lurkers that are watching and not commenting, so make yourself known, dang it. <laughs>
All right, guys, let's take care of each other. Bye for now.